there. It's Carney. And this UGVC clip is quixotically brought to you by Liquid X Energy Drinks with Horny Goat Weed. Here's a gem from across the Pacific and the land of the short, karaoke-loving people of Japan. Checking in with only 83,000 views, it's something that most of you haven't had the privilege of wasting 68 seconds of your life with. Japanese water jetpack is well worth the click, especially as a brief respite between Pokemon, Anami Hente, and Saki Bombs. The juxtaposition between these cultural masterpieces and frenetic Japanese game shows that obviously don't have to provide health or hazard insurance for their contestants really offers a special look at the psychotic dichotomy of Japanese society. Japanese water jetpack is something many of you out there can relate to. Now as a kid, you probably at one time or another received that red or blue heavy plastic rocket that you filled half with water and then using the included hand pump broke your arm squeezing as much air into that locked chamber as possible. Clicking the launch button could shoot this bad boy 50 feet into the air or could really hurt your younger brother if you were lucky enough to catch him unaware. The sadistic Tojoites from this unnamed game show have really elevated this concept to the next level by strapping six half-filled five-gallon water jugs on the back of some tiny guy. Seriously, he's small. I'd crap bigger chunks of corn in my stool than this guy. And yet, with only a child safety helmet for protection, they have no hesitation in launching him 60 or 70 yards upwards and outwards. All the while, a frenzied announcer chatters on in the background like some chipmunk on speed. I don't know what the prize was, or even if this guy won, but judging from the look of pain on his face as they wrench him back into the rescue boat, it wasn't damn near worth it. Still, I am a fan of stupid, so I've got to give this vid from the land of the rising suns three carnies. Send curses or praises to Carney at UGVC.tv.